to Birdie Boots and welcome back once again to Gone Home. Now, first things first, I am a giddy goat. Loads of you guys are telling me in the comments that I managed to miss the code for the filing cabinet because I'm silly. It was in the folder in the library, but I just completely skipped past it. So we're going to go back and we're going to go and enter that code right now, which was, I believe you guys are saying 0451. So we're going to see if that works. Whoop. I think that's what you guys said it was. Yeah, there we go. I did actually go back and look at the footage and it was completely there staring, staring at me in the face. Okay, please find and close your original document and a typed copy for your records. This Mr. Mason, I believe he's the guy we've inherited the house from. Notarized copy has been filed at our offices. Thank you for entrusting our firm in this important matter. Oscar Mason. Hmm. I declare I'm a lifelong resident of Boone County. I'm unmarried and have no children. No outstanding debts to my name. I bequeath every item of value to, of which I may die possess. Okay. You're gonna give it all. Okay, great. It's my nephew, Terence Greenbrier. That's our daddy. Cool. And if he dies instead of me, before me, ah, then it goes to his children, which is me. Yay! Cool. Right. Sweet. Well, I mean, I'm not sure there was anything there that was that important, but I guess if we're going to be following the story... Ooh, what's this? I think you guys also said there were crumpled pages I should look at. John Russell opened his eyes and saw them, the stars, twinkling as if he were lying on the grass in his family's yard in Massachusetts, even though that place is a million miles away. No. He blinked the sleep from his eyes, looking through the carbon-reinforced safety glass of the space station Archimedes. Yes, he was a long way from home, but the future needed him. Ah, oh, so this is... This is basically his... I guess he was trying to write a story. Hmm. It got really bad towards the end. What the, What happened? What happened to the grammar? The Predi's net's life? Wow, what happened? That's not right. Did he suddenly get really angry or... Or what? That's not good. You can do better. Jeez. Close of these drawers up. There was nothing on here that was, on there that was really important, was there? No. And I believe there was also something that looks like Cards Against Humanity. That's what I genuinely thought that was just then. Um, apparently, there was another bit of crumpled paper um, at the beginning, which we missed. Uh, I think it was at the beginning. Anyway, it might not be in, at the beginning. What's that? Oh, I threw that somewhere the other day. Okay. I might, I might be wrong. Oh, why can't we run? I wish we could run in this game. I think it was down here. And I missed it. Was it down there? Yes, it was. Look at that. Look at this stuff I'm missing. Have a doggone cool 17th birthday. Well, thank you. I will. Happy birthday, Sam, from Uncle Harvey. Oh. We're going to have the creepy uncle stereotype now, aren't we? Okay, so we've been to all those other places over there. But there wasn't... We didn't go to the door at the end of the corridor. So we should go do that. And then we'll go and tackle the right side of the house as well. So let's walk on through. Let's all keep going. I'm going to try my hardest to keep this as unedited as I can today. Don't want any kind of cuts. I think it should be just a nice, unedited, long play, you know? Oh, I'm not grabbing your tissue box again. I'm not falling for that. I thought it said die then. You know, like, actually die, not like grab die. Did we read that? Please tell mum and dad about the stuff that's missing. Oh... Okay, we haven't gone this far yet. This is awesome. Anything in here? Highlighters. Look, I need highlighters. Anything in here? So much in there, but we can't read any of it. Anything in here as well? Read note. Hi, Lonnie. So if you wanted to come over to my house this afternoon, that would be cool. Still, this afternoon. I can drive. It's kind of far, but I can drive you home too, so hopefully that's fine. Right back and leave this in my locker if you still want to, and we can meet in the parking lot after 6. Samantha. Yeah, I'm totally in. See you there. I'm going to kick your butt. Get ready. Use the right yaw. How frustrating. So that's not the, uh... So you know what they say about the best light plans of mice and men? Ooh. Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter too. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. Okay. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. Oh, but then geez. she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. 
Her name what is happened Lonnie. in this house? She's coming over tomorrow. Nice, so Sam and Lonnie. I ship it. Slonny, Sonny. I think Slonny sounds funny. Let's go for Slonny. Katie, please, whatever you found, don't tell Mum and Dad. The attic. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. Fine. I don't think we've missed anything here. I think we're all okay. We've been in there. Yeah, we've been in there. We've done all that. Okay. Let's keep moving, then. Let's go to the right-hand side. I'm not going to tackle the attic just yet. That sounds terrifying, so let's not do that. Okay, let's go to the right-hand side, yo. Starting with this door over here. I think this is probably, like, what, a cloakroom? Yeah. Oh, full string. That could have been dangerous. Grab board game. Over the Alps. Cool. Good. No boxes I can grab. Good fellow high school. Front hall. Okay, so they haven't long since, like... Unpacked stuff. Jenny, Janice Greenbrier. Conservationist. Oh, that's my mom. That's my mama. Okay. Let's keep rocking. I always say that. I always go, okay, right, okay, right. And I never mean to. I just constantly do it. Pick up one of my trophies. What did they get that for? First place. Regional track. Nice. Who's is this? My old track. Nice. I am a good runner. I improved... Nothing there. Okie doke. How about this? Nope. <laughs> oh. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. That's fine by me. Will you stop? Mr. Thunder. Anything in here? Dear Jan, it's so good to hear from you again. All this new house business sounds like quite the adventure. Remember the little dorm room we had? We, we shared? Freshman year? Fucking type things. When we were miserable, fantasizing about our own, our dream homes. Jeez. I always said I wanted to mention, you said you just wanted a house in the woods. Look who got both. Somebody up there likes you. I could use some of that magic. Send me some lotto numbers. I'll play them. Seriously. But I shouldn't be complaining about this good old split level we've had since Bob got transferred to Winnipeg. We just got new vinyl siding. Jealous yet? Let me know if you ever want to trade places. So how are the girls doing? Has Katie left on her big European adventure yet? Speaking of jealous, right back soon. I miss you, Rumi. Carol. Oh, Carol. Carol and Janice. Jarrell. I ship it. Right. Nothing here? Nothing else? Okay. We've learned a bit about our mama. Oh, come on. Serious? I don't remember seeing a key. I don't remember seeing a key anywhere. So that's, that's not good. Ooh, I could look in there. Let me look. I bet there's nothing in here anyway. Come on. Come on. Nothing in it anyway. Fuck, trolls. I guess we should go upstairs then? I don't, like I said, I don't recall seeing a key. Let me know in the comments below if I'm being really daft. And there is a key. Might have been in the tissue box. As much as I don't want to touch the tissue boxes. Okay, I've done all that. Fine. For now, we'll try and check upstairs then. Let's see what's up here. Ooh, lovely and dark and creepy. Oh, so as far as I know, guys, there aren't any jump scares in this game. This is like um, a story-based game. There shouldn't be anything to worry about. Um, Boone County. Plumes of smoke will rise above the northeastern region. There's going to be a controlled burn. Ah! In addition to removing dead and overgrown vegetation that can lead to wildfires in dry months, the operation will serve as a valuable training tool for the forestry and firefighting personnel involved. So senior conservationist Janice Greenbrier, go mum, 1994. Oh yes, my mum is a fucking legend. Right, let's get going. Anything in here? Ooh, examine form. Bruce Pendleton, State Forestry Service. To aid, to aid in the upcoming prescribed burn operation, a range of expertise in the procedure is being transferred to the station at Flintlock National Forest. Please attach personnel file. The overseeing officer is us! Yay! Awesome. Okay, so that's where mum is, I guess. Mum is at a station. Gotcha. Read personal calendar. Cooking class. Ballroom dancing seems to have been crossed off a lot. As his... What's the other one? 
couples bowling. They did it once and then it got cancelled twice. That's not good. That's ominous. Let's keep going. What's that? Oh, that's a, that's a grating. Turn on the lights. That's what I'm talking about. Anything in here? Oh, what's that? Pick up cassette tape. What does that say on it? Bratmobile... Potty... Mouth? For Sam. Oh, is there anything in there? No. Okay. Oh god, here we it's go. It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is like instantly just right. I gave her the grand Psycho House tour and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know. I finally found someone I feel normal around. So much price field. I drove her kidding. home and she gave me this tape and said, You have got to listen to this. Aww. I haven't stopped playing it since. That's so cute. That's genuinely adorable. Okay. To whom it may concern, I, Samantha Greenbrier, am 17 years old and therefore an independent, fully functional human being. The fact that you still forbid me from going into the city on my own is, frankly, absurd. Compared with Katie, who's only three years older than me, and yet you allowed her to go all the way across an ocean to another continent on her own. I just want to spend an evening in a normal, totally safe city on my own, like a human being, and since you may also remember that I have my own car now, you can't really stop me. Sam, stop leaving every damn light in the house on. You're as bad as your sister. Sorry. What's this? Daniel called again. He wants his Nintendo game back. Tough. I need a cork board. Actually, no, I don't, because I live alone. Sam's room, I guess? So we're three years older than Sam. That's interesting. It's not really interesting, is it? Oh. Can I do something with the cartridge? What kind of room has a TV? Oh, she's taking it with her. She took the Super Nintendo thing with her. Oh, jeez. Read codes. Is that going to be important? Fireball, hold and punch. I don't think any of that's going to be important, but we'll leave that there and make a note of it. Make a note of the note. Can't do anything with that. Aha! Bratmobile, cool schmool. Oh, Wait. There we go. Let's listen to what Lonnie put on the tape. We're so cool, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're so cool, cool. We're so cool, yeah, yeah. Fuck you, too. Cool, schmool. Yeah, I'm done with that, unless there's a, like, a clue in there that I need that now I've completely forgotten about. More cartridges? Hey, I'm going to put that other cartridge back, because we're all about being tidy here. Put it back in the cupboard. Ah! It'd be messy. Silly people. What's that? Is that something? No. No, it's not. Okay. Let's keep looking around. Oh, jeez. Hi, Lonnie. I wrote this in first period and left it in your locker on the way to second. It's what all the cool kids are doing, I've decided. Write me back. Also, here's an idea for something to draw. Two cats on a motorcycle. Hey, this is a good idea. What all the cool kids are actually doing is sending each other pages in their beepers. My god, pages. That's awful. But we're calling them because guess what? They can't put this on a beeper. And it's literally two cats on a motorcycle. That's beautiful. The drawing of cats was so good that I added a background to make it even better. Oh my goodness. Maybe I should just stick to writing though. Haha, <laughs> I like it. How do you know they're about to be abducted by aliens? I'm looking at Mr. Fish right now. I feel like he would probably have lots of cats. Also, like his secret shame is he watches... I don't know what that is. Oh, 90210 religiously. I'll ask him about it after class. He said he doesn't have cats and also that he's never watched 90210. But I can see in his eyes he was lying. I like these two. Oh no. I don't know it. I don't know the code. And I'm sure it's going to be around here. I feel bad. There's going to be a code that I don't know. Unless it's like one of these things where it's like up, down, up, down. No. Because, you know, up, up, down from... No? No. Okay. Well, I'm sure it'll be around here. Sam, I think the creative writing track 
would be perfect for you. A full scholarship. Huh. Mother. Leave us be. Silly mother. Always interfering. Just want to run off with my lesbian, okay? <laughs> my lesbian. I meant to say my girlfriend, and I just come out with that, okay? Anything under the soda can? No? The, s the coda sand? Anything around here? Box of tissues? Don't want to know, thank you. Another drawer there. I'm sure there's something. Is there something around here? Grab button. The misfits. Damn! Just have a code on it! Why can't things just have a code? Damn. You guys, unless I can figure this out by myself, you guys are all going to be screaming at me. What's new? Mr. Benchley observed Mr. Soto wearing a t-shirt with an unacceptable image on the front. A large beer can labelled Pabs Blue Ribbon. She was sent to the guidance counsellor's office. She could either turn the shirt inside out, change the shirt from her gym locker, or be suspended for the rest of the day. She chose suspension. Her father was called, but there was no answer or answer machine. She must return this form tomorrow. It was signed by her father, and it never was. Oh, jeez. Where are our parents? Like, I get where Dad is. I mean, Mum. I get where Mum is. She's on that thingy, I would suppose. But the Dad's just disappeared. What the heck? Okay. Let's turn that on. There's got to be a code around here somewhere, I'm sure of it. Can we get to that thing under the bed? No? Anything under there? Anything in there? Unless it's going to be like 1967, like she wor worships Kurt Cobain or some shit. Grab. Steggy. Steggy. <laughs> I like that. That's cute. Um, I want to believe. I don't know what kind of... Ah. Hey, Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school at the Coliseum? It came out last weekend and Todd won't shut up about it. So, it's, so either it's good or we can make fun of him for liking it. My mum is supposed to cook dinner for us tonight for a change, but I can just ditch out on it probably. What time? Also, isn't that movie supposed to be really violent? Am I going to barf? According to Todd, it is pretty hardcore. I guess Uma Thurman gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle, so that's kind of hilarious. That's not hilarious at all! Also, something about cheeseburgers is important. Da Todd wants to see it again. 7.15, okay? Don't barf. Alright, see you then. Oh, man. Well, the code has got to be around here somewhere, surely. Right? I don't know. I feel like I'm really missing out on something. Because that's going to be so important. Is there a light in here that we can... Any kind of light? That's scary. No lights in here? What did that just say? Man, Sam had this in like fourth grade. Nothing interesting. What about this? The King's Labyrinth. Well, I'm not going to read all of that. You can always pause if you really want to read it. But this is not really my thing. I'm guessing she also tried writing a book once, which is really cool. Go away. I think that's everything, though. I don't think there's... Oh, full string. That's what we needed to do, wasn't it? Duh. What's that? Grab collar. Mitten. 1888. Could that be it? Could it be 1888888888? Let's go try it. I don't think that... I don't think it'll be that obvious, but we'll try it. 1888 Eight. Open. Damn. Not gonna be that easy, huh? Okay. I know we'll figure it out. Nothing on the TV. Let's check this again. I feel like this is important. Maybe it's not. Hmm. I can't. I can't see a correlation. I really can't. So it's not good. Let's just check this one more. Let's just check this tape once more time. Once more time. One more time. No, nothing. Okay. Well, we shall move on. And then we shall come back. Probably in the next episode when you guys scream at me. It was over there! And it was this! Which I appreciate, by the way. Uh, ooh, soapy, soapy soap. Let's put that back. They're gonna be tampons, aren't they? Yeah. I don't need to look at your tampons. Anything in here? Plasters, toothpaste. Lonnie rules. Lonnie, get out my house. Oh, it's hair dye. That's terrifying. Don't do that. Lonnie oh. brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know.
know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. It's pretty intimate, right? I guess. It felt intimate. We looked in the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. Oh. And she was looking at me. That's right so that cute. Moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited. Oh. And the moment was gone. Man. Jeez. Okay. Uh, not sure if I should leave this episode here or not. Oh, what's this? Let's go check out this note and then, uh... Katie, Mom and Dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer. But you came on such short notice that they weren't able to do it. They weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. You won't be needing it anymore. So she's, like, run away completely. That's... That's awful. That's so sad. So this is the guest room, I guess, with nothing in it, nothing important. Katie. A composition book. Sighting journal. I'm going to leave that there, I think, for the next episode. Because I'm going to leave this episode here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. I am going to leave this episode here. Oh, I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm going to continue looking in this room in the next episode. But until next time, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to join the nest if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of whatever the hell I feel like playing. Catch you later. Bye!